pulan, meaning the one who brings the rain. Now, she was raised by her paternal grandmother in the villages of Matatiel. Okay, so now it gets a little bit tricky. Her father, Nobala Tia, passes away in a car accident when she's about three years old, all right? So now it gets a little bit trickier. A couple of months later, her mother elopes with a young lad from Holland, crazy in love. And ever since, she has never come back home. And apparently the reason why she ran away is that she seems to believe that Umakulu over there is a witch. But this did not stop her from continuing to support them financially. It is said that Pulani's mother instructed Umakulu to take Pulani to the Model C schools so that she could get a better and a quality education. And even though Umakulu did not like this, she reluctantly sent her to boarding school. At the age of 22, when her peers in the villages went to the initiation school, Pulani decided to stay in university. Ah! Yeah! Ah! ah. Yo, Ulani, final What's wrong? But I am here, Look at me, I'm here. The dusk is daring. It will fall soon. Makulu's pots are burning and her cloth is still grumpy, man. Who oh, I better run then? Jump run! Okay, the tombs are breathing across the river, Pulan. Rekabe, is this one of your stupid dreams again? One of my stupid dreams. You have to remember, the drought breaks when we dream that the rain is coming. Imbalela saw the pele while we still believe in it. Rekabe, start talking like a normal person and say what you want. Hey, chong apa man, Pulan. Is apa man, hey? Morning, how? As every time I see you, it feels like you are summoning my heart to the heavens. You were to all the pipes and the chords and the strings they belt out into this amazing chant. That sounds to me like a beautiful harmony. And Apelalin, go away to a car that knows how to beat the keys in my heart like a lightning bolt striking the clouds with no question. <laughs> Enjoy, mom. 